All right, here we go with another unboxing video. I got here in the background uh, what canvases I got this time. We got this uh, box off, off of a website called jerryzartorama.com. They sent me a couple of free things with my box. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, these canvases here are just the cheapest thing that they had. Uh, we didn't get any of the little stretcher tabs with them, which is fine. I mean, these are just just regular old canvas. No, no real need to go get anything fancy. Uh, first thing in the box here, we got some more of our uh, more of our thinner. Uh, looks like the packaging that they uh, shipped it in kind of mushed to the top of the the thing shouldn't be too seems like it opens and closes fine maybe it uh, that opens fine shouldn't really affect it All right, uh, we got a whole assortment of brushes and stuff to play with here. We got a new knife. It's all kinds of different shapes and sizes to your knives. Figured I'd play with this one, see what see what we get out of it. These are all uh, Wilson. Beckford Signature Series. Got a uh, one and a half inch brush. Seems all right. Should do. Uh, should do pretty good. It's got a, a lot of frillies in there. That's really good for. Uh, for landscapes and stuff get all those uh, random little r little things that trees and stuff like to do And their uh, one inch brush looks about the same. Then they've got a one inch brush that's kind of got like a a little little cut. Be nice. See what 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 kind of what 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 we can get out of that. We went ahead and picked up two of their filbert brushes. These are the number fours. Seem all right. Picked up one of their uh, script liner brushes, the number two. That's real nice. I like that. Should make the making those sticks and twigs a little bit easier. You know, my favorite brush, the fan brush. Feels a little soft. It's got a, a little bit of flex to it for oils. I don't know. Seem, it, it might be all right though. I'm sure it'll stiffen up a little bit as I get paint in there. We also picked up their uh, half inch rake brush. They're make, uh, making like hair. On like animals and stuff a lot easier should have some fun with that one that 
that's all the brushes we got. Yep. We got uh, a couple of tubes of paint here. These are uh, Windsor and Newton oil colors. We picked up a uh, green gold. Thought that color was kind of interesting. I figured I'd give it a try. Prussian blue and we got a thalo turquoise blue I think one of the one of the major colors that you need a, a variety of would be blue I mean really yellow and red are, are pretty standard as far as the pigment but I mean blue has all kinds of variations that, that make it a lot easier when mixing, went ahead and picked up a Van Dyke Brown, just because that didn't come in our set. And we're, I like that a lot better than the the Sienna and the Umber. Oh, dropping the paint. Picked up a Brown Ochre. picked up Indian yellow well, that one is trying to get you let you see that color there and then uh, the free stuff that they sent me they gave me this uh, I think they said it was a 5 by 7 yeah 5 by 7 45 sheet uh, pretty much just like little sketchbook They sent me a uh, free tube of the titanium white. That was awesome. I'll definitely get use out of that. Oh man, they really wrapped this one up. much tape oh, Whew. all right they sent us uh let's see what is this I'm probably not gonna spell that I'm not gonna pronounce that right uh, Charvin uh, Paris water soluble pastel painting sticks. I don't really like pastels, but I'm sure we can uh, we can get something out of it. Maybe give them a try. Ooh, I like these a lot, actually. All kinds of colors there. I don't think that they're labeled. Pastels are just very, very messy, and I don't, I don't like it. Seem seem to be a little harder than most pastels I see. I'm already getting it all over my fingers. That'll be a fun little project we can put on the channel, though. They also so I'm gonna try to do this without showing you the code. 
He also sent me a $100 wine voucher, which is awesome. I don't really drink wine, but I'm sure my roommate would love that. I think that's everything uh, in the box here.